friends, Argentina here with the game of tango. And we are answering questions from our students and uh, from online. Mm -hmm. Today's question is how to learn tango for beginners. How do we get started in this amazing journey? Well, <laughs> we have an offering. We do. We do have <laughs> thoughts about how a beginner might get started. I mean, but let's uh, back off of that for just a moment mm -hmm. and just say, in general, mm -hmm. Tango seems to be uh, mostly on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So you often find uh, leads to uh, Tango events that are happening in your community on Facebook. Go to the search bar and put in the name of your community or a nearby larger community and tango and see what you find. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also search that way mm -hmm. and find opportunities for classes or practicas or malangas, the social dance. Yes. Uh, so learning to dance Argentine tango is like learning any other skill. Um, you need instruction, you need practice, and you need application. And feedback. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. And feedback. So that way you can improve. So beginning with some beginner classes, great way to start. Get connected with a great private lesson instructor in your area. Um, that's where I feel like a lot of the really great feedback comes is when you can get one-on-one -on -one with somebody that knows. Um, and then you have to actually practice what it is that you're learning to continue to improve. So group classes are a great way to practice. And if you have a practica in your community, that is a low stress. It is specifically there to practice. The milonga is not necessarily for stopping and getting feedback and practicing. The practica is where you want to kind of work all that stuff out. Mm. And then heading to the milongas. Even if you never get on the dance floor, your very first milonga, go, go see what it's about. Go get introduced to the community. See what the customs and the traditions are of this dance. Get exposed to um, what does this look like when it's danced socially. But we encourage definitely a multiple kind of approach to learning anything. Just a single group class a week is probably not going to cut it. Right. All those different approaches will create different links in the mind and the body that uh, creates a richer, more solid structure for understanding and enjoying the dance. Mm -hmm. Now, also online, you'll find all kinds of materials. Some are just demonstrations of uh, fancy uh, dancing, uh, demonstrations of a particular figure or move that mm -hmm. one might make. Mm -hmm. And some are entire courses like the gameoftango.com that we offer for free. <laughs> yes, exactly. And we see the Game of Tango is a really great supplement if you already have a nice tango routine. If you already have a teacher, you're already going to group classes. But what we want to really stress the importance of is the practice part, right? So we talked about the instruction, practice, and then application. If you do not practice in between your group classes or your private lessons, then it's almost like you're kind of resetting a little bit back to zero every single time. Versus if you work on that skill in between your classes and continue to improve it, now you're walking into that next group class already feeling comfortable with the previous week's material and ready to actually progress instead of doing a little bit of backtracking, reviewing, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and then you're ready to progress. This mm. is a way of continuing your progress forward. Right. And now, one might ask, well, with those online courses, how do we get that feedback that you talked about? Mm, right. A couple of answers to that. One, we invite people to record themselves and send that to us, post it on the website, mm -hmm. and we will uh, give you feedback. Yeah. Plus, we have designed the course in such a way that we have experiments and explorations and experiences where we give guidance on how to do it, but also how to know whether you're doing it in a good way that High will be quality. useful. High quality, yes, absolutely. So 
if you're on your Argentine tango journey, keep going. It only gets better. But make sure that you include your solo work in between everything else that you're doing. And if you're new to Argentine tango, welcome. We're happy to have you. And this is a wonderful journey that you are on. But remember, like any other skill, if we don't work on it on a regular basis, we will forget in between those sessions. So keep at it. And we look forward to seeing you on the dance floor. Until then, abrazos. abrazos.